like to dedicate this song for my daughter's birthday, Andrea Legato. When she was born, I held her in one hand. She was five and a half pounds, and I was so happy. I was a little girl. Because doctors always told me that I was going to have a child. So for me, it was the best present that God gave to us to have her. And she's been a special, special person. Not only her, her husband, too. The two of them have been special people for us. So she was like a miracle. Yeah, for us. Yeah, for me, she was like a miracle. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I'm proud of her poetry she writes. It's so beautiful, people cry. One of my parents, Statue of Liberty. And I never had to poetry in my life. But my daughter stopped to do it. We used to go every two weeks, me and my wife, to listen to her. And her group, she was in charge of the group. She was 18 when she started. And uh, everybody came. But she, she reads so beautifully. For me, just being her, the heart that she has, and the way that she is, everything made me be proud of her. Yeah, it's just being her. Yeah. I always remember the time that we were in church, and was a bishop coming, and the church was all quiet, and suddenly, when the bishop, bishop started to walk, she never saw the person with a big hat. I said, Mommy, look at the cloud, look at the cloud. <laughs> and, you know, Mommy, why are you not looking? Look at the cloud, look at the cloud. Everybody in the church was stirring or laughing. Me, you know, stay in love with your husband forever. I would say create memories because uh, when you're older, the material thing doesn't matter. How important is that memory that you crea create during your life. Tony, why did you pick the song, My Girl? That's what she calls, I always say, it's my girl. My girl. It's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Andrea. We love you forever. <laughs> my girl, my girl, forever. <laughs>